I jump up on the stage and do my money dance. I throw some money up and watch the money land. I, I thank you for hating. <laughs> tell the, uh, hey, tell my grandma I love her. I love y'all grandma too. I have no idea what the heck that last guy was saying, but all I know is the guy is super rich. Where the heck did he get all that money from? That was Black Youngsta. I can't make up the names here. Well, he's a rapper who's showing people what two million dollars looks like. I mean, is this real life right now? Light up, man. I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light up, man. I'm gonna let it well, how's it going, you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon Do Not Sing, and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. YouTube has been around now for almost 14 years, and we have seen hundreds, if not thousands, of YouTubers making millions of dollars from this platform. Well, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the top 10 richest YouTubers who made the most money this year. The total of all these people combined on this list is over $180 million, which is insane when you think about it. In the comment section below, let me know if you were surprised by any of these people. Okay, let's get started. This is the top 10 YouTubers that made millions of dollars in 2018. Number 10. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Yeah, that's right. Logan Paul is first up on this list. He actually had an opportunity to be number one, but he screwed it up. He made a few. I mean, he's he's made a lot of big bad decisions this year. But you know what? He was able to turn it around and still be relevant on YouTube. In fact, he has just started a new podcast that is number one. In general, because uh, if you guys did not know, we made it to number four on the iTunes store uh, and uh, on our way to becoming the number one podcast and in the even world. Well, I guess it's good that it's 90000 thousand dollar podcast room is getting a return on its investments. I mean, who the heck spends that much money on a podcast set? Well, I guess you can do that when you're bringing in millions of dollars. Logan Paul, according to Forbes, made $14.5 million. Moving into number nine, at $15.5 million, we got the bro fist. Of course, we're talking about PewDiePie, who may or may not be taken over by T-Series. I really hope they don't take over the pewts. Well, at the time of this recording, T-Series is only 300,000 subscribers away, but big YouTubers right now are trying to get PewDiePie more subscribers. PewDiePie has actually just hit 5 million subscribers in the past 30 days, which is insane. Okay, do you guys remember when Jake Paul said this? Five million YouTube in six months, never done before. I mean, yeah, 5 million in six months, never been done before, but now that record has been smashed. Mr. Beast paid so much money to get a PewDiePie billboard. I bought a bunch of billboards. I do, we got the double billboard. We don't mess around. Went on TV. Grab your phone, go on YouTube, search PewDiePie, and subscribe to us. Did radio ad. No one kills memes as quickly and efficiently as this Swedish man. Spot bathroom ads. <gasps> There's our ad. Hey. Right above the urinal. And much more to try and stop T-Series from passing PewDiePie in subscribers. Everyone is trying to promote PewDiePie. Oh yeah, I forgot this guy bought bathroom ads and went on the radio. Justin Roberts spent one million dollars on an advertisement in Times Square. And it's the biggest one, the biggest advertising billboard in all of Times Square. It's about to say, subscribe to PewDiePie on it. This is go. We're about to break the internet. It's there. Oh my oh, gosh, it's up there. there it is. No, we did it. We did it. It's up there. Subscribe to PewDiePie right now, guys. PewDiePie has been bringing in tens of millions of views daily. I'm not talking about like per month. I'm talking about per day. So let's just say next year, PewDiePie might be in the top three highest earning YouTuber. Let's move on to number eight. We have the guy from Ireland. We're talking about Jacksepticeye. guy. He's made $16 million. Now, all of these are just estimates. You can't really know what someone's bringing in, but Forbes, is, they try to do their best. People have a ton of overhead costs and ads per video. It can range like a huge range. So we're just having fun with this one and we're going with it. So who knows what these guys are actually making? Maybe they're a lot richer than we think, or maybe some of these guys don't deserve to be on this list. Well, Jacksepticeye guy has brought in $16 million. This guy's very entertaining and he just has so much energy. Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye guy and welcome back to the force of nature that is Rico Rodriguez. How does someone have that much energy? He has way more energy than I do, and you guys say I have a lot. This guy has over 10 billion views. I mean, wow, Jacksepticeye, what the heck? Jacksepticeye just appeared as a guest speaker to announce an award during the award show, the video game award show, and he seems to be he seems to be all over the place. We have another game right number seven. We have Canada's own Vanos Gaming, who brought in $17 million. Vanos Gaming has almost 24 million subscribers, and he's Canada's most subscribed channel. 
channel. In fact, he's from Toronto. He lives like not far from us. And he's only 26 years old. He's been making videos since he was 20. Vanos has been nominated for video games during the Video Game Awards back in 2014 and also was nominated at the Shorty Awards in 2016. He didn't win any of those, but he was still nominated. I mean, that's a huge feat in its own. And I know the Gaming Award just passed. The video games is just a huge thing. We have a lot of video gamers on this list. The Emotional Markiplier comes in at number 6. He's made $17.5 million. I've met many people on this list and Markiplier was one of those guys that really stood out for me. He's just super genuine. And yes, his voice is really deep in real life. We can't have that. We cannot have that! Go in the description right now. Sub to PewDiePie. There's a link. I couldn't possibly make it easier for you. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, everybody that's just sitting around looking at this going, ha ha ha, oh ho ho, what a silly b Well, the only silly b here is you. And yeah, I forgot to mention, Markiplier has over 22 million subscribers. And he also tried to get subscribers for PewDiePie. And is it just me, or does Markiplier even laugh in a deep voice? And I promise you, it's not the mic. Well, maybe a little bit is the mic, but his voice is just so deep. He's just born that way. He should narrate movie trailers. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. It's currently 3 a.m. because I woke up early and I'm still on Cincinnati time. My roommates are still asleep, so I decided that I was going to record a Let's Play and make it the world's quietest Let's Play. His voice is actually so soothing. And is it just me, or could you just listen to this guy talk all day? Alright, let's move on. Number 5. We really got to know this next person because of the recent Shane Dawson documentary. And we're talking about Jeffree Star. Wait, at that angle? Like down? Like, whoa. Whoa. That, whoa. That's the angle. <gasps> <laughs> oh yeah, that's the look. Jeffree Star has made 18 million dollars, but watching the Shane Dawson documentary, it seems like his company made almost 1 billion dollars. I'm so baffled, I'm so confused by that. And that's because of his Jeffree Star cosmetic line. He revealed he paid 100 million dollars in tax alone. His net worth right now is 50 million dollars. So, you know, later today I'd love to take you to my main warehouse where I ship all my makeup, all the clothes, the whole thing. It's like 30,000 square feet. Um, and then we have other warehouses attached to it. You'll see a whole other side of me that people don't really get to see, so... Have you ever shown that before? No. Warehouse? I have 100 employees, I have a whole customer what? department. What?! Yeah. And no one, it's like, it's like, the, it's like Willy Wonka. Like. Moving into number four, we have Dan TDM. He was last year's top earner at $16.5 million, but he slid a little bit. He's in at number four. Well, he actually made more money this year though, which is good. He made $18.5 million. Dan TDM is another video gamer who has over 20 million subscribers. And right now he's been playing a ton of Pokemon. Well, I just need to get out of here first. This dude? Nope. No one wants to, everyone knows I'm the champion now, they're scared of me. Dude Perfect makes the perfect shot in at number three. This is the triple William, no, I'm kidding guys, three's too many. It's just the double, it's just two. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We can run all night. Yeah! These guys have made $20 million, but there's there's like many of them. There's like five of them or six of them, so they gotta split it. But I mean, that's still a lot of money. And I also see their products all the time at Walmart, and they sell so many things, it's insane. This channel always seems to be sponsored by huge brands, and they've broken so many world records. This is the world's longest bounce shot. Let's do it. Dude Perfect has made $20 million, which means if they kept this up for five years, that's $100 million. Maybe they've already brought that in in the past five years. Who knows? The person who I thought would have been number one, but he actually landed himself in number two. Well, we're talking about Jake Paul. England is my city. One, I cannot be outdone. Jake Paul is number one. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. I said it's every day. I guess it kind of has been everyday bro. Everyday drama, but it's been paying the bills, I guess. And I'm talking about the big bills. I'm talking about the mansion bills, the sports car bills. Jake Paul owns Team 10, and he has other business deals that has brought him to the second spot on this list. I kind of feel bad for Jake Paul for everything he's been through this year. There's so many ups, so many downs, and he just had his recent breakup. I hope him all the best. I believe in the saying that all money in the world doesn't fix everything. I mean, Jake Paul brought in $21.5 million, and he seems super depressed sometimes. 
friends and stressed out all the time. The person who topped everyone, well actually I should say the kid that topped everyone, bringing in $22 million as Ryan Toys Review. So coming in at number one is uh, this kid. This kid has over 26 billion views on YouTube and gains almost 600 million views a month, which is just unheard of. How is it even possible? So I think that $22 million is pretty modest. I really think this channel might be bringing in a ton more money. I just don't get it. Well, there you guys have it. That was the top 10 richest YouTubers 2018 according to Forbes. If you guys want to check out the full list, I'll link it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video.